Draven here, back with another fresh look this morning. Um, oh, let me just change something. I always forget to do this. I wish I rem would remember it. Oh, don't. Oh, it should be okay. Oh, no, no, my computer has been off overnight, right? It will have reset. Logitech cameras forget all their settings. There we go. Right. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> right, we we're going to do a first look this morning for an hour before my work. Um, we are doing gross, gross, probably gross today. Um, this is a unique twist on the classic tower defense genre. Um, so after building our formidable defenses, we will jump into the fray to take on enemies head on rather than just seeing it from above or whatever. Um, this came out early this year, January 2023. Developed and published by Hungry Owl Games. I just want to say thank you to publisher and Key Miller for the game key. Much appreciated. Uh, as usual, it doesn't affect any of the opinions I expressed during this video since they are my own. Uh, this is single player. Um, there was a demo. This is the full game. Um, let me load it up see how we get on. It looks like it might be a lot of fun, made with Unity. I love the logo here. <laughs> the bird holding the mouse. Right, I have changed the settings up. Uh, we're playing on Ultra Graphics. Um, we're going to play the tutorial. Quick intro, just so we know how to play it. Since I haven't tried it at all. Okay, quickest way to become successful zombie slayer is by completing this lame tutorial. At least you don't have to slay any rats. You can remap all the keys. Okay. No problem. Um, okay, so we've got two guns, pistol, and not to press H for a long time to show the key bindings permanently. Okay. Working. There we go. Press H again to fade them out. So R to reload. Alt looks like it's alt. What's that do? Okay, vermin, full metal jacket, different types of bullets. Okay. Right, we've done that. Uh, switch to a different gun. You can go to the next one with your mouse wheel or directly pressing the key for its slot. Okay, so we've got a machine gun and we've got a pistol. Press the right mouse button to aim down, which reduces the coil but slows you down. Okay, so it's that aim thing. I did, I pressed it. <laughs> it doesn't think I pressed it. And shoot, oh, he wants me to shoot. I'm not wasting a bullet. Okay, reload by pressing R. <coughs> All guns can switch between diff two different kinds kind of armor. Yep, I already saw that. Kill the attacking zombie. Headshot steal double damage. Try to score. Well, I did try. Good news, there's already a respawn point in the corner. The bad news, this might hurt a little. Oh, okay. I meant to die, am I? If your base is destroyed, everything is lost. Your own death on the other point hand is not necessarily the end. Come and hit me. Hit me. Where's my health? Oh. <laughs> there we go. And we're back. Okay. okay, money is what gross is all about. Keep an eye on the bottom left corner. Check how much you have. The number on top. 
uh, is the money in your pocket, the number in the bottom is the money in your bank. Every zombie you kill has a chance to spawn an explosion of cash. You simply need to get close enough to the cash to transfer it into your pocket. Okay. Is there no... There's no receptacle showing you where you're going to be aiming. Okay, we managed that. Okay, before every attack there's an opportunity to build defences. The most basic object you can build is a barricade. Barricades are cheap. Just, um, do that. Uh, and can be used to force the zombies to take a certain route. Use them to funnel attackers into choke points or to buy you, you and your turrets more time. We need to build two barricades here, okay. Barricades are the cheapest. When you finish building, you can start your next attack phase at your base, the RV, by pressing E, okay. More zombies. No? Pick up the cash grenades from the table. There are three pieces of equipment that can help you with that. Pick the cut. Cash grenades from the table. You can equip them in any of the three slots again. Uh, cash grenades allow you to pick up cash and deliver, but that's a rather advanced maneuver. A short button press will launch one to pick up 500, okay. So if I press V. Okay. Do I need to do this again, or do I just keep going? I need to pick up 500, that's what it is. Oh, there. Oh, we don't got quite enough. Right. There we go. Pick up the money laundry tool from the table, you can replace the cash gates or use a separate slot. <laughs> Let's just put that in there. Takes all the cash in the battlefield and returns half of it to you. The other half is lost. Try it out. Mount the cash attachment to one of your guns. While the cash attachment is active, your gun bullets become harmless, but they pick up cash and send it back to you. Activate it now. So let's see. Pick up 500 cash. Oh, right. There. Dino Slinky, good morning. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, raider. Just give you a shout out. You were playing Fuzz. Phasmophobia. How are you doing today? I need to get 500 of those coins. I'm not shooting these very. Oh. I need to redo that, I do. There we go. Welcome, Raiders. I'm Draven. I'm a variety streamer. I'm currently doing a first look on this game for the next little while before my work this morning. Um, this is like a first person terror defense game. Good morning, Dino Slinky. I hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Build a railgun turret on the empty spot. Damage, attack per second. Let's build it there then. Can we not rotate it? Is it not pointing the wrong way? Yeah, upgrading a turret can make it very powerful and it's, it's ideal for lone turrets that hold strategic choke points. Start upgrading your nailgun turret with a left mouse button. 
Okay, we've upgraded it. Ooh, 15 hours, that's a long time. <coughs> as long as you were having fun. Yeah, this is a first person turret defense <coughs> called Gross. Which came out last month. Excuse me while I have a drink. <coughs> I'm one or more upgrades and confirm your purchase. How do we do that? Oh, this. Here we go. Let's do more damage. Okay, there we go. I don't know if it's facing the right way or not. It doesn't look as though it is. Oh, it can rotate. There. I presume it's facing that way. Yeah, must be that way. Your real gun turret will now support your defences. Start the next tuck wave. Right, let's go. It didn't do much damage. <laughs> uh, I, I remember playing, was it Dungeon Defenders? That was a great game. I did like it. It was sort of similar to this in, in the fact that it was first person. Okay, we've got sticky grenades. We've got... Yeah, Dungeon Defenders. I played it a lot. Yeah, it was co-op. I played it a lot with my partner. And then um, we played it all the way through the first game. I didn't quite enjoy the second one that came out. It wasn't as much fun, I didn't think. Uh, press one or two. Let's put that into two. Destroy all the money. This might take more than one shot. Okay. Destroy all the money. Where's all the money? Oh, it's up there. Look at all that money we're getting. Is there more money up there? There is. Wait. Well, that didn't work. It needs a receptacle. So you can see where you're firing. I hear a uh, target thingy. Is that it? Or have we got more to do? I can't see it. Oh, there. High explosive bullets. That didn't work. I'm just doing the tutorial just now. Uh, okay, let's buy a mortar. Wait, you don't have enough money. Probably shouldn't have blown up all the cash, eh? Now all you have to sell the nail gun. You'll have to sell the nail gun to it. Look at your nail gun. Hold right mouse button. Okay, so we've got some money back. Now we need to build a mortar turret. Okay. And uh, we shall put that. Yeah, this is currently on Steam. I shall let me link in the page for you. There you go. I want to turn this around. The mortar covers a specific area. Place the target marker where you want it to hit the zombies. Right, so if, if I put it there. Okay, now we need to start the next attack wave. Okay, Dino, thank you again for the raid, much appreciated. You take care, sleep well. Uh, right, there's no such thing as it's too much money, but there is a limit to how much you can carry in your pockets. Once they're full, you can't pick up any more money. Your bank account has no such limit, but you can trans. But how can you transfer money from your pocket? Build an ATM. <laughs> right, where are we going to build an ATM? We'll build it there. But, um, you can't build turrets and barricades in a way that cuts off the attackers completely. That would not be fair, would it? 
Okay, now we need to start this next phase. Deposit all your cash at the ATM. <laughs> there we go. Of course, you have to watch the zombies don't come and get your cash at the same time. Okay, we need to buy an oil barrel. Traps are cheap consumables. Right, we can right click to select a different. We've got nitrogen, we've got oil barrels. They're more expensive. Let's have some oil barrels. There. We need a Molotov cocktail. Put that there. And we need a liquid nitrogen barrel. Let's start the next phase. I'm going to go back to my other gun. Let's see if any zombies get through here. <laughs> Stop, sir. Good morning. I hope you're doing okay. You're away to work, are you? Work gets in the way of everything that's fun. He froze, look. Yeah, this is a, a first person terror defense game called Gross. Uh, other traps are triggered as soon as the enemy walks onto them. Use sec traps to secure strategic locations like choke points. Build a claymore mine. That doesn't look like a claymore mine. That's barbed wire. Here's a claymore mine. Let's put that that way around. Make sure the claymore faces the right way. I did. And some barbed wire. Okay. I was wondering why it wasn't carrying on. Right. Let's try this. Oh, you're welcome, Nopser. Kill zombies until your traps are used. Come on, next zombie. Ah, he's got scuba gear on it. <clears throat> okay, so the barbed wire's getting less and less effective. But I don't think it is effective now. What's up? Oh no, okay, it's getting worse and worse. Oh, get away. You were meant to go that way. I like the fact they've all got different clothing on. Come on, use up my barbed wire, thank you. Right, that's it. <coughs> C4 has the biggest damage potential of all traps and uses yet another trigger mechanism. After placing the C4 pack on the ground, you have to place a trigger as well. Okay, let's buy a... So if we put... If we put a C4 pack there. Okay, and here's the trigger, right. We put that there. <laughs> e to detonate. Ready. Boom. <laughs> oh, look at all the money. What happened there? What's that? Kill the tax. Oh, it's a tax drone. It's stealing all my money. They've even got tax in the game. Give me my money back. <laughs> okay, home is your base between levels. That's a place where you can build your loadouts, practice your aim, and try out all your guns and gizmos. Press escape and go home. Okay, let's go home. Go home. Right, we're in our house. Look at the wall with all your shiny guns. Mm. 
Take all our attachments. And over here, it's the rest of your equipment. Grenades, mines, welly boots, looks like. Uh, have a look outside and check out the shooting range. I like the low poly graphics, there's actually quite a lot of detail in it, isn't there? Why have we got a greenhouse? Can't shoot the glass. There's Heidi the cow. We've even got chickens, look. <laughs> the chickens eat bananas. There's a wee chick. Look at the wee chick. We've got beehives. Okay, here's the shooting range. Have a look outside and check out the shooting range. Shoot the mannequins. Okay. I'm sure you've heard the zombies at the fence. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. They're great for testing out your gear though. Why not kill one? Oh, they're over there. <laughs> yeah. Very cool, eh? Right, we've done that. And finally, take a look at the map. You can replay each level and even tweak a few things. How do we look at the map? I press M. Oh no, it's the music. Oh, probably got an infant copyright thingy there. Right, here's the map. <laughs> Look at all the darts. Right, um, I presume that's the map. Start level. How do we do it? How do we start? Oh, we've got an arcade machine. <laughs> it's got gross on it as well. Right, if we go back to the main menu. Okay, let's go with story. Money has often been called the root of all evil, but it runs deeper than that. Before there was money, there was bartering. Before there was bartering, there was ownership. There's always been a desire to have, a desire to have more than your neighbour. To have what your neighbour has. There's always been greed. Today the world is more competitive than ever. A select few people at the top of the food chain own most of the world's resources. Apex predators, preying on the value created by billions of worker bees who have to dedicate every waking minute to modern slavery in order to make a living. Numbing the pain of existence and enhancing performance during work times, drugs have penetrated every layer of society. They manage to pacify the population, but silently wreck havoc on minds and bodies. A new drug, called Eva, enters the market and changes everything. Interacting directly with the dopamine levels in the brain, it creates not a state of dull bliss or blind mania, but a focused and serene sense of motivation. It provides users with a feeling that they, that what they do is meaningful and satisfying. Mass-produced and inexpensive, it is available to everyone, with no apparent side effects, not even a hangover. It spreads like wildfire. At first, Eva requires a daily dose to provide its effects. The fact that residue from the compound remains in the user's bloodstream remains unnoticed, until four to six weeks after the first injection, when it starts to mutate and replicate on its own at a geometric rate. The drug amplifies each one of the user's desires. Success, food and money become permanent. Users start to take what they want with no regard for the safety of themselves or others. By the time this becomes known, it is already too late. Once it is in someone's system, the compound can even transmit to non-users through any exchange of bodily fluids. Within weeks, weaponized greed turns into mindless husks, driven by a carnal lust for flesh and currency. Zombies. You decided to leave the army once you could no longer deny that its only purpose was to further increase the de facto rule of corporations. Contracts and friends you acquired over this time made it relatively easy to set up your own private military company. It might seem hypocritical, but as PMC you at least got to choose your gigs 
and didn't have to pretend that your work was for the good of the people. You got your current job, like so often is the case, through an old acquaintance that you knew since high school. He was working on a federal research project that was in need of security personnel. Even though they had access to military resources, they wanted private security. You didn't ask why. As far as you were concerned, almost any kind of research is important and good. Your old friend trusted you enough to vouch for your company, which was a deciding factor in scoring the job. In turn, you trusted him enough to take it. Win-win, Bob's your uncle, easy cash. You weren't sure what exactly it was they were researching, only that it must have been related to the Ava outbreak that seemed to get worse every single day. Hazmat suits were a daily sight, and it seemed that everyone was stressed all the time. But then again, this sort of thing comes with the job. You and your men were working shifts, but were expected to be available around the clock in emergencies, which means you rarely left the facility at all. The assignment was supposed to last three months, and the contract allowed you to pay everyone a full year's wages for that time. No one minded. Trapped underground with a gaming console and a stack of movies, your only entertainment. The days were long and uneventful. Until this morning, when the ceiling collapsed on you. <laughs> Recover your health. Uh, right, we can carry up to four guns. We need to get armed. I like the fact there's a story in it. <laughs> Dartboard. Uh, right, let's take... Um, Patriot German. I might take that. Can I put that there? Is that not just the same as what I've got? Yeah, let's just put that there. Right. Right, you can aim and shoot a gun with the mouse buttons. Yeah. No, I've already done this in the tutorial. Find the source of the noise. Let's go out here. Well, they sound like they're over there, don't they? Oh, we've had a radiation leak. Somebody's in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, now, sir. You have a good day. I hope your work goes fine. Thank you for dropping in past. What a detail in there? Considering, <laughs> considering what sort of game it is. Oh, I can go in here. I can get this doggy out. Oh, I hate meetings. I can pick the dog up, can I? I've got a terrified dog. Where are we taking them? Find a way out. Borings are always meeting. Uh, meetings are always boring. Especially if you get get the wrong way around. <laughs> What's that for? Is he still alive in there, do you think? No, he's not alive. Let's find our way out. Are you waiting for me? Get in the car. Your rescuer introduces herself as Charlotte Sanders, one of the lab assistants working on the site. You've seen her before a few times, entering the highly restricted area that houses Subject K. You also remember about her getting suspended and having her access revoked a few days ago after a loud altercation with one of the scientists. Anything involving Subject K is way above your pay grade, but since you have just narrowly escaped death and everything has gone to hell, you feel like you deserve to know. You need to know what you're up against. You can see in Charlotte's eyes that the things she knows eat her alive. She wants to tell you the full story, but she doesn't yet trust you. 
before you can press the matter any further, she changes the topic and asks what you should name the dog. Clearly, he needs a name, right? Without thinking, you suggest Lab, because you found him in a lab, and he's clearly not a Labrador. So it's funny, right? Uh, as soon as the words leave your mouth, you realise what a stupid name that is. But it doesn't matter. Charlotte is so happy that we changed the topic. I could have named him anything. She scratches Lab behind the ears and asks him if he's aware he's a good dog. He looks at me with a dumb, loyal look that only a dog can have, clueless about the adult name he just got blessed with, because two people had to get out of an awkward moment. At last, you reach a small mountain village. Charlotte pick Charlotte's pickup has taken a bit of a beating when she used it to break down the fence of the research facility, and you hope that you'll find tools and parts of the local car to repair shop to fix it. The repair shop, like the rest of the village, is completely abandoned. Your luck seems to be improving when you find an RV that looks like it was a purpose built for a pickle you're finding yourself in. With no one around that could use it, you decide to claim it. With Charlotte and your four-legged friend already in the RV, you go looking for its keys. That's when you notice it. You are not alone. Okay, let's hit continue. Uh, bark. Okay, we're making bark aids. Okay. So where are the zombies? I need to make bark aids. We can't let them near the RV. Okay, we can. S What's the lines for? Oh, this is showing you the routes they're gonna take. So like, I could, I could slow them down here, couldn't I? Noise at my flat but cut block. Two seconds. It was just my cuts grumbling with each other. Right. Alright, so we're building we can see if we put that there, we're how much we're going to detour them by. Is there one's coming from this way? No. They're all coming from over here. So can I stop this one's coming in a bit? Right. Let's put that there. Yeah, everybody's having to come a bit. Right, they're going to sneak in from behind now, aren't they? I'm almost out of money. <laughs> you must leave a path. Okay, yeah. I was leaving the path. That'll sort of slow them down a bit though, won't it? Right. <laughs> uh, doesn't want me to block them too much. Oh, I've run out of money, okay. Oh, I could have found nail guns. Uh. Can I destroy that? How do they destroy it again? Sail. Yeah. How much money? I've got 150. I could take all these ones away and build some nail guns. Nail guns. Could have that there, couldn't I? Like that. And then I could have a mortar over here. I can click on you, can't I? And I can. How do I tell it where where it's targeting? Oh, it's a machine gun turret. All right, it's not. Okay, so I presume it's. Can I sell it just now? I want to rebuild it. Okay, I don't. I don't actually tell it which direction to go. Right. We're gonna have that there. 
I've got a hundred left. I could build another nail gun. I could have a nail gun here just to help out in the end. Right. Will we try that? I've got no money left. Plus 35 to upgrade stuff. Right, let's uh, set that going. Where are they all coming from? There they go. Right, we're going to see how long this nail gun lasts. Where'd he go? Why is he not shooting? The nail gun's not doing much good, is it? Hi! Oh, Dan, you're in my way! <laughs> Hi, Luna! Do you not go over here? You need to be over here, not in front of my screen. Okay, look. Go this way. There we go. Right. I think I should be over here. Okay, the nail guns are not much use. So far, anyway. I need to pick up the money. Ah! Luna! I need my money. So that's firing. So that's not. Okay, nine seconds left. Any more coming? No. Well, it's a countdown. Is that the second wave or something? No. So why didn't these work? It's facing the right way, isn't it? I presume. Yeah, it's definitely that way, isn't it? There's nothing to actually say apart from... Right, I could upgrade it. Maybe it's just not doing much damage. I'm going to upgrade this. Um, so it can shoot further. I wouldn't mind another one of them over here. There. Right, we'll try that. You're right in my, in my way of my mouse sitting there. Yeah? You're not going to sit in your basket? Okay, I'll we'll switch that off again. Don't bite my arm. Why are you biting my arm? Find and equip the shotgun. All right. Where's the shotgun? While you're playing the story mode for the first time, you automatically unlock new constructibles at the start of each level. You also get new equipment and new guns. You have to find them inside the level. Okay. So there's a shotgun on the go somewhere, is there? Yeah, it's a bit awkward with you sitting there. I've got no mouse mark left. But it must be outside then, is it? Ah, what's this? Oh no.
you sitting there? Can I get you down on the ground? I can put a few down there. You gonna go get them? Watch your tail and I don't run over it. Right, let's start the level. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, there's a few more coming now. There's some coming down the street there. Right, you see how my, my new machine guns back here. And I've got my sticky grenades. Can I not throw that? Oh, you, you need money to throw them, okay. Oh, it did fire, look. The nail gun's definitely working. Oh, and that's definitely working. I grab the money. Ah, oh. Oh, I need to grab the money. Okay. This is fight for your survival. Use everything at your disposal to make and stand. Right, so we've got some more money. What's happened here? Oh, that's because we've upgraded it. Okay. Um, what can, else can we do? We can only do that. We've got barcade. I could put a barcade over here, can't I? I might just upgrade these. How much money have we got? That's 70. Let's bump that up. We'll leave it at that range. Let's bump up the damage on here. Does that work? Probably can't. Oh, I can upgrade the damage in here. Right, that's just out of money. Alright, what's the matter? Maybe I'll shoot some of these stragglers to start with. Oh, I need the money, of course. Oh, yeah, but oh, no, 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 don't sit right there. Okay. Why can't you sit over the side? Why are you being grumpy today? Right, bullets. I can hardly move my mouse because Luna's sitting on my mouse pad. <laughs> Yeah, I see, I see you. I know you're there. 
<laughs> Take a grenade. Boom. Because you need the money for that, don't you? Okay, we're managed. There we go. Hi. Hmm. I wonder if we can try and slow, slow them down a wee bit over here. That might slow them down a little bit. Can I not put another, like, another machine gun right here? There. Yeah, I know I can't upgrade it, but that might be better than nothing. Did that work? Oh no, yeah. Right, right let's try again. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're going to come through here though, aren't they? That was a waste of time. I needed to barricade this drop as well. <laughs> yeah, they're just coming that way as well. I'm trying to get the headshots in. Grab the money before it disappears. Oh, now you're going to sit right in front of the screen, are you? Yep, you've moved. The money doesn't stay there for long, does it? So you really have to get in there and grab it. Like that's just done. Right, let's get in there. Okay, we've got quite a bit more money that time. Uh, let's go see if we can barricade up this, uh, this bit over here. And we could maybe have a turret there, couldn't we? No, I can't do that. We must leave a path. I've got a path. We can get through this way. Maybe a little slow them down. A wee bit. Let's have a turret over here. And we'll upgrade it slightly. There. Are you in back out? Is that what the problem is? See, I can shoot them from here as well. Shoot them in the head. Okay, the turret is firing.
Try to get them on. There we go. We've got a lone struggler, Alec. Cool. Right. So what sort of other things are we going to be able to get here? We've got barbed wire claymores, bear traps, mines, we've got the C4 that we did, the ATM, we've got a fan, I don't know what that does. A machine gun turret offers decent firepower at medium range, okay. A machine gun turret offers decent firepower at medium range. A respawn, a wardrobe, we've got flamethrowers, mortars, Tesla towers, snipers. Missiles and a Bertha. Very good. Right, I'm gonna to have to stop there. Um, for just now. Are you typing things in on my thing there? My keyboard. Can I move this keyboard? That. Right. Yeah. That was just a quick first look. Um. What's under home? We've got normal. Everything is unlocked rather than going through the story. But yeah, that's gross. That was pretty good. I was quite enjoying that. A lot of detail in the, the low poly graphics. So they've added a lot of objects in everywhere. Came out last month, 11th of January, 2023. Uh, developed and published by Hungry Owl Games. There was a demo. Um, lots of weapons. Quite a few different turrets. So yeah, I enjoyed that. I would probably play that more. Um, it's only single player. It's got full controller support. But yeah. So thank you again to Key Miller and the publisher for the game key. Much appreciated. Um, right. Let me just see. So I, I'm not sure if I'm streaming tomorrow. It's adventure day, but my partner is not working tomorrow and um, so i might not be streaming if i am it mightn't be for, for as long uh, we were playing broken sword 3 the sleeping dragon that's our current adventure game uh, but i will definitely back on thursday and friday with some more first looks and then back with near automata at the weekend so thank you all for watching and uh, thank you to dino slinky for the raid much appreciated uh, if you don't already follow or follow would also be appreciated it helps the channel out but until next time, you all take care, be safe, and I shall say bye for now.